This video will guide you on writing PySpark programs in PyCharm on a Mac. For the Windows version, check the link in the description. The first thing you need to ensure is that you have Java installed. If not, download and install it from the Oracle website. Secondly, you need to ensure Python is installed. On this Mac, we have Anaconda installed and we use Anaconda Python. You can work with any Python 3.10 or higher version. Let's install PySpark by simply doing pip install PySpark. We can see that version 3.5.4 of Spark is getting downloaded and installed. This is the latest stable version as of January 2025 at the time of this recording. To verify if Spark is installed successfully, we can log into the PySpark shell and create a sample data frame. We will print the value to confirm if everything looks good. Next, we will install PyCharm. Let's go to the JetBrains website and download PyCharm, then install it. We are downloading the professional version for a free one-month trial. You can also download their community version, which is available on the same page. Once installed, we will launch PyCharm and start the free trial. We will skip IntelliJ import for now. Let's click on New Project to create a new Python project. In the first tab, we see the Python virtual environment, and in the version section, we see a Python version different from the Anaconda Python. Let's create a Python project with this to see if everything looks good in PyCharm. Right-click on the project name and create a new Python file. Let's create a Hello World Python file. We will write some sample code and run it. Hit the green arrow to run the program. We can see that the output is getting printed. Next, we will create another project with a custom Python environment. Click on File and then select New Project. After that, click on the Custom Environment tab. We will select any of these Python versions. PyCharm detects all the Python versions on the machine. Let's create the project. It prompts you to install the AI plugin. You can do that for use later. Now, let's hit Command-1 to go to the project view. We will again create a new Python file and run some sample code. This runs fine. This is how, for Python development with PyCharm, you can either create a virtual environment or custom environment and start coding. Now let's see how to create a Python Spark PySpark PyCharm project. We will create a custom environment using Conda 
and use the Python path for Conda. You can use any Python 3 version as long as PySpark is installed in that Python environment. This is the path for Conda Python. Let's capture this path in the custom Python environment. Let's give the project a different name. PySpark Hello World. Now, let's create a Python file and write some Spark code. First, we will create a Spark session and then create a sample data frame. Let's run the program. We can see the output in the console. Now we are all set to do Spark programming with PyCharm. One thing to note is that you can go to Project Preferences or Settings and see the available libraries. We can see all libraries provided by Anaconda are available here, including PySpark. We can also add new libraries here. Finally, we will check if Spark is able to write to the disk. When we try to create a table, it gives an error because it says Hive support is not enabled. If we enable Hive support, we should be able to create the table and write data to the disk. This time it ran successfully. To run it multiple times, we will use create table if not exists. If you're wondering where the data is getting written, simply describe the table. and in the output, you can see the path where data is getting written. You can go to that directory and view the data. This is how you can get started with PySpark and PyCharm on a local development environment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Check out the top-rated Udemy course on Hadoop and Spark Link in the description.